Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And it's a long days. I think four months I posted my last video. You guys are commenting that why are not posting a new video? Actually, I was a bit busy with my first curriculum, so sorry for that. So today I am here to give you some tips about the get preparation. Not actually preparation. You are doing preparation. I know you are doing extremely with your preparation. I know, but I will give some tips how you can give mock test efficiently and how you can revise all these subjects. So or whatever mainly the whatever problem you are facing during giving mock test. So I will discuss about this. So for that I categorize all the students in four categories. ये बेदबाग क्यों? The category one who already completed all the syllabus. and now just giving mock test and try to increase mock test score and they are uh, facing some issues they are facing some uh, problems with uh, scoring so i will discuss about this and category 2 students who have not completed all the syllabus but most of the syllabus they completed and they are giving various type of mock test full length mock test partial mock test whatever and the category 3 student Who are complete the syllabus partially, not full, maybe six, seven subjects they completed, and now they are confused of what to do first: complete the syllabus first, or just by these many subjects go to the exam and give the best. And the category four students who are confused between placement and get, till they are only completed only three or four subjects maybe. Or the placement season is going on in their college, so they are confused what to do. Um, see for placement, having good job, or um, just preparation, continue the preparation. So I will talk about all these category of students. I think I will select one of these category. So let's start today's video. So for category one students who have already completed all the syllabus and now only giving the mock test. So I know you guys are facing some issues with your score. So I saw actually there are three type of problem can happen. Type one, you cannot connect the concept with the problem. During solving the problem, you cannot connect what from which concept it came and how to solve it actually. And type two, you are doing silly mistakes, calculation mistakes, or you incorrectly read this question so that you are getting low marks. It itself can happen. And type three. You are doing question. You are doing it correctly, but the speed is very slow. So I have solution for this three type of problem you are facing. So solution for type one is what you can do whenever you are getting the wrong answer or you cannot complete the solution. What you can do just write the question and write down the approach from the answers or whatever you are following and the solution of this question. Just write down the step by step approach. How to solve this type of problem? Not a particular the problem. This type of problem. How to solve it step by step? Just after writing this, you can see only there are ten to twelve problems are there for each chapters. So for each chapters, you have only ten and twelve type of problems. And whenever you getting a new question, you can frame it with this ten or twelve problem. So it will be easy to have, um, solve these problems with. already you have the steps or approach so i think it will help you and type 2 problem actually i was in this type so this for type 2 type problem what you can do is write down what a silly mistake you are doing uh, you are reading the question incorrectly you overlook some important points from the question or you did calculation mistake whatever mistake you are doing just write down for each mock test for this question i did this silly mistake for this question i did did this silly mistake ye muh se supari nikal ke baat kar rahe baba and before going to the next mock test just revise all the silly mistakes you did it will help that whenever you are attempting a question you read the question correctly then you see okay it's it's asked for true or false you will do the calculation attentively so it will help you to reduce silly mistake and uh, for type 3 what you can do only practice if you are facing problem with the speed only solution is to more practice to more questions maybe you are facing same type of question to solve it and try to do accurately and 
speed will increase if you do um, practice more so i think the category 1 students whoever are facing this type of problem if you find some solution it will help you definitely and for category 2 students you guys are completed the syllabus partially maybe 10 subjects 8 8 9 subjects you completed or 2 1 2 3 subjects maybe left so and you are giving mock tests so i will say just complete the syllabus first because already you have i think 2 months so you can complete it within 1 months all the subjects and after this by rest of the 1 month you can give mock test uh, by 1 month you can give up 20 mock tests 20 mock tests is sufficient for your preparation just complete the syllabus first because maybe whatever you did whatever subjects you did maybe some hard question came from these uh, subjects and you cannot uh, solve it during exam and whatever subject you left some easy question can come so as you have only one or two subjects left you can complete this within one month and just then after completing the subjects you can go for it you guys already have done five six subjects but till five six subjects are left and you are thinking what to do i will say just uh, take two three more it is subject like if you left cn if you left computer architecture if you left os or if you left dbms from these four if you left a uh, one or two subjects then pick it up and complete these subjects it is because these subjects carry eight nine marks more than that also sometimes so it will help you so i think by one month just complete these subjects and follow the same thing whatever i said for category 2 then after that you can give mock test more and more mock test and focus on this portion of subjects you don't need to focus on the whatever subject you did not so i think it will help you to decide what subject you have to choose and for category 4 students who are bit confused what to choose placement or get so i will say if you may let's say many students have some financial issues or they are many students have some family issues they are they need to take a job so you guys can take a job but you have some dream to pursue m tech from iit or you have a dream of getting a good rank in get you can do one thing just take a job after one year or two years of job you can keep get and have a good rank and do m tech but the thing is after getting a job i think it's bit hard to crack a good crack get with a good rank i know many people are doing this you can also do this but i think it's bit hard maybe it's not for you you can do this thing if you are very confident that oh, no no i have to do m tech i have to crack get i have to do m tech from iit and if you are very clear just go for it i think if you have not done like more subjects now 2026 get will be bit tougher but you can take experience from this exam like 2026 get and after this 2027 you can prepare well for 2027 and crack it placement is also good rate is also good so that's it for today i think you can find you from one category and you in this video will help you from your preparation and if you want this type of videos just comment it out in this comment section like what type of video you need i'll try to make this type of video and i think back to back some video will come about computer science about get about job also placement also i will try to make some video so that's it for today uh, if this video is helpful for you just like it and if you think this type of content will help you in your future just subscribe to the channel thank you